Ontario's premier says working with private clinics will help the public health care system. To start, we're tackling the backlog of cataract surgeries, where we have some of the longest waits. MRI and CT scans, colonoscopies and endoscopies will also be added in the months to come, then knee and hip replacements. And Doug Ford insists that won't mean paying out of pocket. All of these services, they'll be available using your OHIP card, never your credit card. The goal, to lower wait times, something school bus driver Dan Donaldson knows all about. He had to pay for speedy cataract surgery a few years ago to save his job. The choice I had was to register with OHIP and hope that maybe you'd have a, the operation in six months or go to a private clinic, which I did, and I had both my eyes fixed in six weeks. Most experts agree something needs to be done to help the surgery backlog worsened by the pandemic. BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan and Quebec have all, to varying degrees, considered or started offloading low-risk surgeries to private clinics, raising criticism about lack of oversight, especially in for-profit settings. You can skimp, particularly on staffing hours, in order to generate more profit. And we also haven't heard a lot from governments as to how they're going to ensure that quality remains high in these facilities. Another major concern, that medical staff, especially nurses, might leave public hospitals in droves to work at private clinics with better pay and hours. How is this not going to impact our ability to provide care to the patients left behind in the public hospital? We'll be in the exact same spot potentially, but this time more acute, more difficult, more challenging surgeries may be the ones that are getting delayed so, Deanna, of the experts you spoke to, what do they think is a better solution? Adrian, one solution that they all kept on bringing up is the non-for-profit model that still moves these simple, relatively common surgeries out of the main hospital operating rooms. Mm -hmm. So basically, a hospital finds a location close to the main hospital where they build a kind of a no-frills operating room. Fewer surgical instruments, fewer staff needed, more surgeries can get done, but these are still not for profit and the staffing and the booking still runs through the public health care model. They say this would not only be cheaper, but would be just as efficient, if not more efficient. All right. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, thank you. Thanks for having me.